Hello Invokers, this is April, the artist behind Invoke ArtSense. Today I bring you a new subscription box. Lately I have had a subscription box bug, but I am going to slowly wean those off or not do as many. But I have this one and I will have a few more for May, or May and June because I ordered a few that I probably shouldn't have. Quarantine makes me shop too much. But this is so exciting to get this new box. I enjoy Smart Art and Scrawler Box, but I have never tried this one. I have heard many good things and I have an idea already what's inside. But let's open this box, shall we? And you can see that this is plus because it's got an exclamation mark. And this box is $39 a month and the basic is $24 a month. And with shipping, it's $9.99 more. So it's about $48.49 for every month for a plus box. And it is this, almost the same price as Smart Art Box, which is $49.95 a month. So I would say that this is should be on par with Smart Art Box because Smart Art Box is the same cost, but Smart Art Box charges $49.95 with free shipping. They charge $39 and then add shipping. So it's basically the same thing. Okay. First I see Bristol paper and that was on top. It should have been on the bottom. It's made in the U.S. and it has vellum surface and this one comes with 15 sheets. The lovely sound of paper flipping. And this one, instead of being flipped, instead of opening it up from the top, it opens from the side, which is unusual. I wonder how hard it is to take a piece of paper out. Now we have the special Ziploc bag. I This is what got me in. This Ziploc bag really makes it just look so much better. And I will probably reuse this a lot, maybe for my coloring pencils. Okay, we'll look at this in a second. We have King Art brush pens. I was super looking forward to this. This is watercolor brush pens. They are fine, medium, and wait. mess free watercolors and they are light fast which is super important for me right now because I am making finished pieces of art to sell more lately graphics fine liner color and by the way I will be doing two videos for this I will do one video for the unboxing and then another video for the art challenge part because people enjoy maybe the supplies and then also people enjoy the art creation. So instead of having one long video, I'll have two so some can watch the unboxing if they want and some can watch the art challenge part instead of having it all in one. I think that's going to be a great idea for some unboxings. Fine liner color graphics. I was also looking forward to this. Okay. 
we have red, blue, green, and black. High quality, low order, water-based ink. So probably it's not waterproof, but it says no bleeding. Stroke with 0 0.5 millimeters. Ideal for illustration, sketches, final artwork, and much more. Good, good. At least I can do line art and other colors besides black. And a warhead, actually. I I saw Smart is in so many art snacks box boxes, and I I'm just so happy I didn't get Smarties. Warhead all the way, but I won't eat it in the during the video. Okay, and this I won't even pop it. Save it for something. The great thing about art snacks is that they don't lower the quality of the supplies if you choose to get their $24 a month box. This, this is their $24 a month box. And I believe that these other ones, like this one and this one, comes with your plus box. So your quality of your supplies don't decrease for if you want to spend less money which is my, which may be what I want to do later with art snacks. Palletful palettes also do that as well. They just, you have less, maybe smaller items, but not lower quality. Sketch box, they have a cheaper box, but that box more than likely includes, well, all includes different items, but also lower quality items like one is professional and one is like student grade. So let's open this. This is uh, Art Snacks and you, when you're done with your art challenge, hashtag Art Snacks, tag at Art Snacks. We have the sticker, kind of simple, but I still like it. It's kind of cute. Has like a zebra feel to it. And this is a Higgins India ink chisel marker. And what I saw is that when you're out of ink, you can see it on the side. So you will never know when to, resupply you'll never know you'll always know you'll not never know you'll always know when to resupply when to buy another marker but i don't know if it's okay shake well blah 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 i don't know if it's waterproof yet but we'll look into that later this is a copic multi-liner which is waterproof which is a great liner i'm glad i need i needed it and this is aqua pen graphics brush and fine point this mm, color is like a blue or maybe a royal blue doesn't say on the sides Ooh, I like this color I think they give a different color to everyone this is Eero G10 Verbena VP10. This is a color pencil made in Vietnam. That's better. I'm glad it's not made in China. Okay, let's look at the menu. Let's look at the joke. Why was the pencil brought in for qu questioning? Why? Probably it's because it was sketchy. It was very sketchy and I heard that joke before. <laughs> That's not really funny, but at least they try. So we have King Art Real Brush Pen set of four. Their value is $6.99 and it's specially packed for our snacks. I think it's specially, it's our snacks exclusive. And they act like a brush. Moving effortlessly. 
Okay, we already know that. Will not streak, bleed, or smudge. Okay, use this pen with water, of course, for watercolor effects. Tombow Yuri G10 colored pencil, and I didn't know they made colored pencils. Who would have thought it? So it's soft lead to its elegant enamel finish. It's actually really pretty. I like their design. Fine art illustration and doodling, rich creamy color, easily layered without waxy buildup. So it must be an oil based pencil. Eero G10 is the Japanese expression for color encyclo encyclopedia. Full sets of these pencils are, are available in stylish volumes from Tombow. Oh, I should look into this a little bit more because only one color pencil, you can never have only one chip and that refers to color pencils too. Higgins India ink pump marker. I'm, I'm not a very big like marker. I, I do use markers, but I'm not a very big black, you know, like marker, just black um, line art. I don't know, maybe it'll work for me. This is artist grade pigment ink with and is ideal on paper and boards. Water resistant, not waterproof. That's what I thought is India ink. Even Faber Castell pit pens are not exactly waterproof. They're water resistant and matte finish. It lasts seven times longer than most permanent markers. refillable body so I guess you can refill the ink so I could just put so since this is refillable I can probably just put this India ink Ooh. <laughs> oops I can probably just use the India ink I have after this is empty and refill it that's what it says it's refillable. Just remove the tip and add more Higgins ink. So I can use any Indian ink. It doesn't have to be Higgins, right? Be sure to shake it before use. The most expensive thing in the box is this Higgins India ink. Probably going to be the least used art supply. It better be good. It's 11.30. I would never spend 11.30 on this kind of thing if not in a, a subscription box. Okay, get social, hashtag Art Snacks Plus. And then you get discounts in their store if you have their plus box. So the art prompt, they don't really do art prompts. Rip out a page from the Strathmore Bristol paper pad and create an original card to send to a friend. Just let them know you are thinking of them. That's a good thought, but I'm probably not gonna be doing that. So this paper is nice, but this way they have it bound makes it very hard to tear out. And some of this paper ripped, the second paper ripped when I tore out the first page. And you see here as well. And this is the page I ripped out. And there's a lot of messy stuff on the, on the page. And if I was doing a full nine by 12 drawing or painting, it would be a problem. So having this kind of pad, it should be bound at the top, like I normally see, not on the side, just a minor thing. It can still be, I, hopefully the other pages will rip out easier, but this one didn't. The first page is gonna be swatches only anyways. First, let's try out this Aqua Pen Graphics. 
there's a brush brush nib as well as a fine point like water like a Tombow markers if you use too much water or go over it too many times this paper will pick up and not a very good paper I think I have used mixed media paper from this company and it works fine with water-based markers I'm surprised they sent Bristol paper because Bristol paper works great with colored pencils like this or Prisma color pencils or any color pencils but and it even says on the pad dry media but I was hoping since it had a vellum surface it would work but it's not looking that way and I may not use this paper then for this media my favorite method just putting the ink in a ceramic palette maybe it defeats the purpose of having a water-based marker but I still like to do it this way and really water-based markers are nice to use I think because I can use it in more than just a watercolor method it looks nice that way too oh it says never dip these pens directly into water I think I've done that before with other similar markers okay FYI don't do that it doesn't say anything about it being light fast which some are some uh, water-based markers are but I think this one is not it just says delivers br brilliant color so, and it doesn't say it just says water fell watercolor felt tip pen and the tip is pretty durable and stiff oh not stiff firm but I guess has a similar meaning it works really well and I, I like the color it's a royal blue color oh just I have butter fingers today and this is our the multi liner. I have a wine color from Copic multi liner. This is a black, pretty standard, zero point five, and I needed one really bad too. And this is waterproof. probably did that too fast but maybe waiting a little bit it is definitely waterproof now our Higgins I don't know what makes this so special it's a pump and I heard you can't you have to be very careful about pumping this because this tip is not very durable so how would I do that maybe <laughs> oh I uh, see the tip the tip is really soft now, I don't know how to pump it Oh, maybe just it's too soft. It's coming down by itself. 
just use your fingers and pump or just if you have longer nails okay the tip is super soft feels quite, quite nice though then it moves really well with water it's water resistant of course so I guess you can use this after I don't know if I guess if it's if you're not worried about it bleeding on you I wouldn't use it for line art maybe for quick sketches that I might use this for quick sketches that might be a good good uh, thing to use in my sketchbook this pencil uh, this pencil is gonna be really good I think they put the label at the end it really shouldn't be there but I don't understand why they didn't put it at the, this end but never mind it's gone now it's a very nice pastel -y color everyone got a different color I believe feels nice and the tip is firm the lead is firm keeps a sharp point it's not soft and creamy like Prisma's which is actually a good thing and what does it say it says it produces rich creamy color easily layered yeah I think so doesn't mention light fastness so it's probably not light fast if that's not a problem for you then these will probably be good for you Okay, well, I think that works for my purposes anyways. Then let's look at our graphics. Graphics fine liner. I'm actually happy about colored liners. So these are Marabou. Is it Marabou or is it graphics? Oh, it's not on that basic one. This is the plus the Marabou Fine Liner Graphics Skyline Set of Four. Ruby Red. Ruby Red. Dark Green. Ooh, that's a nice color. And color is this some kind of blue? Ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue. Very nice colors. Primary color, well, besides green, red, and blue and black good old faithful black so there's 0 0.5 millime millimeter and are these light fast hmm wait okay they are light fast very good they are light fast water-based pigment ink it's good Probably not waterproof though. So line art after you do watercolors or any water based mediums. And then last but not least, our king art. Earlier I was saying the basic art snacks comes with the king art too so you would get these together and then the plus you get the surface pad and the graphics I was confused about that 
So it wouldn't be a bad box if I just got the basic one. Because the surface, I have Bristol paper and it's not a good match anyways. But sometimes, or I've seen boxes where they had great watercolor paper, but I think they've sent so many, so much watercolor paper, paper that they don't, they didn't want to this time. Okay, so we have our King Art. So our King Art brush pins. These are, I think, well, is this the first brush pins, watercolor pins? Yes, they are. I have had stuff like this before, but never brush pins. Ooh, are they light fast? Yes, they are light fast. They act like a brush. And they are bristles, which is very cool. They're bristles. And they are made especially for art snackers. Looks, it, feel, it looks great with just by itself. This one I said don't dip directly in the water. I probably shouldn't dip it directly in the water with this either, right? I mean, some people would be like, what's the point of having brush pens? Just use watercolors. But I think it just, it just feels nice. Even if you're using it directly from your ceramic palette like this. I think there's a steep learning curve with these though. And wonder what would happen if I dip it in water. I think it's good if I dipped it directly in water. They don't say what colors and they don't say the colors here. Hmm. But this is a bloom. A light green. I dip it directly in the water. It moves, this one moves very well, but the paper isn't very happy. can just feel it. It's getting a migraine. This is a yellow. I've always been tempted to buy water brush pens either from I think it was maybe Arteza or a different company but I wanted to try them. I want to get more. I want to. I want to paint more in watercolor. I just get just so distracted from other things. I think it works really good, and just dip it in water a little bit. Doesn't. Can't really tell. I think if you use the ceramic palette method, these colors are really light. If you really want to dilute it, then this is a good way to do it. I 
think if you don't overdo the water or the layers, probably be okay with this paper. And you know, there's a whole pad, so you can use a lot. You can use it for other things. I wonder after it dries, is it reworkable? Like watercolor. Yeah, you can pick up watercolor. Probably wouldn't suggest it on this paper though. This is a dark green. Hmm. Almost thought that was kind of dried out. What would happen if I blended it into the yellow? Oh, it does. It blends really good. I think that these would work well with my watercolor sets that I have now. And they really move very far. And then what if I tried to blend wet into wet. I think it looks really good. And then these two have dried already. Let's see if it, I can continue working with it. Taking this blue And this green, light green. Okay, so I am done swatching and I'm going to say that this paper is not a good choice for final mediums. I'm not going to use this on this paper. I have other paper I can use for the final challenge. You see this paper is picking up. Yes, if I did a simple drawing, it depends. Maybe I'll do a simple drawing, but if I do anything more than a couple layers, the paper will pick up and I just don't want that so I probably will use mixed media vellum paper from this company or watercolor paper I don't know right now I think that it's still a good paper in this box it's not a waste and depending on your style it will work for you for this challenge but for me I feel like it won't work for me, so I will use a different paper. I am really happy with what was included in this box. Normally I would be kind of, eh, with all these markers, you know, like I had in sketch boxes and marker universe, but these fine liners, and these water brush markers were a great thing to have in a subscription box. Even this color pencil, it might not be good for details, but it could be good for other things on top of the watercolors, like to, for shading and beautiful gradients. 
and I think if you are interested in uh, our snacks I'm not sure which is the best subscription, but I think that if you like markers and getting a variety of options, but not always markers, our snacks is a good way to go. But I think that I won't be doing our snacks often because I don't always like to get markers like this. I might go back to our snacks later, but I think I don't want the plus. I And now I understand why a lot of people get the basic box because the surface is not always useful. When I got Sketchbox and didn't have a surface to use, I thought it was, you know, weird, but it really is, I think, more buck for your bang if you get more value in our supplies versus paper because most people already have a ton of paper laying around right like you don't want to see the other room or you might want to see my other room my other room is very full of canvases and pads of paper and i have a lot in this room too so i think next time the basic 24 plus 10 dollars shipping that will be okay for me in the future but I have to try other things first and I will alternate the next video will be the art challenge I will do with these materials on a different kind of paper this is the May art snack box and I hope that you liked watching this video and I know it's different but I hope that this method is better where I have the supplies in one video and the swatching and the second video will be the art challenge and straight art only. Thank you for watching this video invokers. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and see you next time for the next exciting video. Goodbye everyone.